Alrighty guys, so next up on my interior refresh will be installing this uh, M trim on my steering wheel along with this actually brand new steering wheel um, which I bought refurbished on uh, eBay. Clearly it seems to be one of those uh, normal BMW steering wheels that just have that little leather cover on it. Um, my main reason for changing the steering wheel right now um, was the uh, lack of paddle shifters as I no longer need those um, on my car. Um, obviously because I'm doing the manual swap. Um, but uh, I could actually make some money by selling off the steering wheel with the paddles. And I kind of found this little nicer wheel instead. Um, nothing wrong with my wheel, like I said. Um, this one comes with some trim, which I actually don't need because I'll be using this one after I already redo it. It's almost 100 bucks um, to get these uh, trim pieces usually. Um, however, you know, I've had pretty good luck with respraying stuff and uh, refurbing stuff to make it my own, so I will be doing that uh, first. As you can see, I got this pretty cheap, like 20 bucks, I think, because um, it has most of this uh, kind of soft touch material just kind of going away, which will actually make my life easier because I need to get this all up anyways. Um, so I'll be doing that, as well as changing out that M logo for a little N54 logo. As you can see right there, found that on eBay as well, kind of hard to see. There you go. But I'll be putting that on. Um, just a little, little cool touch, I thought. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. So first I'm going to sand it down. I think I'm going to first off use some 320, something like that. Maybe some 240. Um, I'm going to kind of all this stuff off. I'm just going to pry this uh, M badge off, which should be as easy as just kind of taking a screwdriver and just popping that little thing out. Um, and then I'll be using some gloss black or satin black spray paint. We'll see what I kind of want to do when we get there. Um, and um, put several coats on there. Probably put some filler primer first. Had really good luck with that so far. Um, and then that'll be all good. Um, that'll be this entire video, so let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so I initially used some 60 grit sandpaper to get the initial rubberized coating off. And uh, then I used some 180, I want to say, 240, 320, 400. And then at that point, I uh, put the uh, first cut of filler primer down. Um, kind of got, I think, a couple, at least two or three coats of filler primer on there, the duplicolor stuff I've been using before. Um, it looked great, but there's some minor imperfections, including some dark air <laughs> that got in the paint. So I just used some 600 grit sandpaper and uh, sanded that down. And um, then I had to went ahead and put some of the uh, Dupa color um, kind of satin black enamel. Looks pretty good, I think. I then let that satin black uh, kind of enamel dry for a few hours, and then I went ahead and put some of the uh, gloss um, kind of finishing enamel as a top coat. Um, for this this trim, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, a little bit of orange peel, but not very much. So, if I wanted to, realistically, I could just put this on the car right now. Um, but I do want to uh, kind of smooth it out a little bit more and uh, kind of get more of a polished look. So, what I'm going to do is uh, wet sand with 3,000 grit sandpaper, and um, then I'll polish it up with some uh, some turtle wax, whatever kind of stuff out of there. Pretty cheap stuff, but it'll do the job. Uh, polishing compound and then we should be good to go to put this on the new steering wheel and in the car. So after using 3000 grit sandpaper you can see it's pretty much a matte finish now. Almost all the gloss is gone. There are a few little spots where you can kind of see some uh, like uh, little glossy spots but that's that's kind of okay. It's not really a huge deal. So now the next step is going to be getting some uh, compound and uh, kind of starting to get rid of those scratches, make it as flat as possible. Um, I'll be using some turtle wax uh, generic compound turtle wax polish. Um, we'll see if it can get it, you know, pretty uh, glossy. But if not, I have some other polishes. So we need to take a look at those. Um, I'll be using a drill adapter, so I have some, uh, um, you know, polishing pads with some uh, um, drill bit attachments. But I also have a DA polisher if I need to use that. But this is pretty small, so I'm thinking I can just use the drill. Um, so I'm gonna get started with that, and uh, I'll be back when that's done. So I'm fully making a mess in my kitchen. I'm pretty happy with this thing. It looks great. I mean, you could probably barely tell it's um, spray paint. It looks almost like a professional job. Um, well, maybe not that. Maybe not that close. But uh, <laughs> we can be kind of optimistic. Um, I'm very happy with this. It's a very smooth, uniform finish. Um, pretty much every little scratch is out. What I may do is uh, when it's on the car, um, I'll um, put a little bit more work into it uh, with a hand cloth, or something like that. And uh, maybe I'll put some, some ceramic coating on top of it just to make sure, especially these areas, that there's no scratches in the future. Um, but for now, for this piece of trim, I'm basically going to do this to all of my interior trim as well. Uh, currently it's wrapped, but I much prefer this look of the paint. Um, it looks a lot better, I believe. 
Um, but uh, uh, there's only one thing left to do for this little piece right here, which is the little M54 badge. So I'm going to get that right now. I'm going to stick it on, and we should be good to go. Put this on the steering wheel. Would you just look at that? Looks perfect to me. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. N54 badge down there. Now, before I get ready to change my steering wheels out, um, I've got my older trim over here. I actually never use this trim, but uh, came with my steering wheel. I just don't need it anymore. I can actually sell this. If any of you guys want this, uh, let me know it is for sale. Um, but for now, take these controls, just a couple T20s, so one over there and uh, one over there. Going to take those out and just transfer those um, over to this, this uh, trim instead. Um, should take about like five minutes, but uh, yeah. Then, once that's done, we're ready to put this in the new steering wheel. Um, but for you guys, if you guys are keeping the steering wheel in the car, not changing that out, just the trim itself, pretty straightforward to do. Um, you're just going to loosen the uh, three Torx uh, T20s behind the steering wheel. The trim will pop out. Um, it is a bit more difficult to finagle with the airbag in the way, um, but uh, by no means does it stop you from doing that. So, yeah, from this point on, pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just get those buttons transferred over, and that'll be it. And here we got it all put together in the steering wheel itself. This will be a pretty sick when it's in the car, so I'm going to do that now. That will be a separate video. Um, hope you guys found this useful. Um, I'm pretty happy with the results, like the video says so myself. But yeah, let me know how it goes for you guys. Peace out.